Hello, my name is Alex Alguacil and I'm a piano teacher at the Conservatory of Liceu in Barcelona. Today I want to show you Sonatine pour Yvette by composer Xavier Montsalvatge. Um, Montsalvatge was one of the most important composers of the second half of the 20th century in Spain. He studied at the Conservatory of Barcelona and he was certainly one of the most influential figures within the Catalan musical scene. Sonatine pour Yvette, it's probably one of his most popular compositions, it was dedicated to his daughter Yvette and it's a very joyful and light piece, a bit innocent at times, but it contains certain doses of humor, jokes and it's full of surprises. And to me it suggests some sort of cartoonish music, it has modern and jazzy harmonies and strong and characteristic rhythms like a samba. To me, it's certainly a piece that it's open for imagination. This composition is a sonatina that has three movements and it starts with a motif that to me it resembles uh, Yvette as a child playing around and having fun, like this. Accompanying Yvette, we have another motif in the left hand, a little bit more unsettling and chromatic, going up and down and to me it resembles some other character that it's chasing Yvette, like this. So these two characters will be running after each other during the whole composition and together it sounds like this. Two characters that will be playing along with each other, sometimes they would get mad at each other and sometimes it would sound like Yvette is falling down a rabbit hole, like Alice in Wonderland. To me it sounds like if she would fall into somewhere and start unfolding many uh, mysteries and adventures. Actually there's another passage that better exemplifies this, like this. <laughs> To me this sounds like if Yvette is really falling down into somewhere only to wake up and feel a little bit dizzy with her head spinning around like this. Then the two characters will be playing hide and seek and chasing each other like this. These harmonies that the composer used are very interesting because in this kind of context they're not really prepared or resolved so it suggests to me really like if the two characters are hiding from each other and popping up from another side. <laughs> Let's hear it one more time at the real tempo. These are harmonies that many composers during the 20th century have used and especially they have another meaning to me when they use them slowly. For example, it has to me a suggestion like some sort of a dream or feeling a little bit dizzy or even drunk. Something like, for example, Stravinsky or Prokofiev would have done like this. <laughs> They actually give a feeling of many different colors or something that's really spinning around. And Monsalvaggia uses these harmonies in the second movement, which to me suggests a bad dreaming, and he puts in these kind of harmonies.
this to me really suggests like if Yvette is dreaming. And the chasing around with these two characters will go on in the third movement, uh, rather dancing this time, because Monsalvaggia puts in a very characteristic rhythm of a samba, like this. <laughs> This fast passage actually was another example of Yvette falling down into somewhere. And to end the piece, Monsalvaggia puts a motif, very famous motif, by Mozart. The composer himself said that this was the inspiration for composing the piece. He remembered her daughter practicing this piece, so he composed this to make a little bit of a joke out of it. And he harmonizes this melody like this. By the end of the piece, by the end of the third movement, he will harmonize again this melody, showing the two characters uh, chasing each other again, and to me it suggests something like a kaleidoscope, something that is again spinning around within many colors, because the harmonies suggest that, like this. <laughs> So these are just some examples of what I believe is in the music, but I invite you to listen to the whole piece uh, and find your own interpretation. And I leave you the link to my own performance of the piece and I hope you enjoy it.